Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Paris coming at you with a brand new video. Look at me making videos back to back. Can I get a yay from the editor? Yay! Anyway, so today is gonna be a story time. I think it's really funny. I mean, it might be funny. Oh my god, this is so funny. Maybe I should freaking relate it, you know, with you guys if you've ever had this awkward third wheeling day you know and yeah so let's uh let's get my spit back in my mouth and start this video so um i live in i used to live in kentucky i went to school in kentucky um for five years now i graduated i moved to nashville but before i used to live in kentucky it was like what 2016 2017 um, and my sister lived in texas and for thanksgiving she was going to come or she came to visit me for thanksgiving not she was going it was like a few years ago she came to visit me for thanksgiving and I was like, girl, come to Kentucky. I know Kentucky don't sound all that good, but I'm gonna take it to Nashville because that's where all the clubs are. And she loves to drink. So I was like, come down here, come through. We're going to Nashville. We're going to party. You're going to get lit. We're going to do all of that cool, smooth ass stuff in Nashville. So her came to all the way to Nashville well to Kentucky and so from where, from where I live in Kentucky it's like an hour to Nashville um, so I picked her up from the airport drove back to Kentucky to my apartment and um, we hung out in Kentucky for like a couple of days and then I think it was the weekend or something uh, we decided to go to a club in Nashville, it was a gay club. So it was me and my sister, the first time it was me and my sister we went to that club. We loved it. I mean, honestly, that was my favorite club before. Now the music sucks. Well, now it's freaking Corona, so they're closed. But um, the music, music started sucking all of a sudden at that club. Anyways, but before, the music was popping, so we were there, we were jamming, we were vibing, we were drinking, we were getting lit. It was just me and my sister, because she's like literally my best friends, I don't have friends. Um, we <laughs> had a freaking blast, ew. We had a blast. And then, you know, my was driving, and at that time my sister didn't have a driver's license, so she couldn't drive. I had to drive back to Kentucky, and Kentucky, like I said, is like an hour away, so I was literally like zooming. I thought I was in a Ferrari. I think at one point I was just like, hey, do you, do you think that, do you think I'm as fast as, as a Ferrari? And she's there like, not the fuck out or some shit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so made it safely to Kentucky, obviously. The next day I decided, okay, so I want to go to Nashville. I want to party. I want to get lit, but I don't want to drive. We got a hotel, like a one bedroom hotel, two beds. And so we, we invited my roommate, Let, let's call her Yasmin for the story, okay? Her name is Yasmin for the story time. Um, so she, Yasmin had some work to do, but she was like, she's gonna meet us in Nashville, whatever. So my sister and I drove to the hotel, got ready there, you know, looking fine, looking fly. Every boy's gonna look at us, every girl's trying to, you know, kiss us, you know, all this, this cool, cool thing we were thinking in our heads when we were getting ready, you know, you know, you know what I mean? So we ended up going to... Uh, to to the club and then I think my roommate met us there. I think she met us there um, So we like start getting drinks start getting lit I was like jamming to the music my sister was over there drinking jamming to the music and my my, my roommate Yasmin she was just bothering her head, you know with like beer on her hand you know those type of girls who are just like not feeling it that night you know when you're just like bobbing your head to the music that's when you should go home <laughs> that's when you take your butt to the car you start driving home because the night is not yours you know what i mean so <laughs> i love her i love her to death she's like my really close friend 
Um, so, and then when I was in the dance floor, my sister was like, I think she was standing next to my roommate or something like that. These guys went and started talking to them. Um, so my sister vibed with one of the guys. She like liked him or something. Let, let's call him, let's call the guy Petro. The other guys don't even need names because they're kind of irrelevant. Let's call him Petro. So she got Petro's number and you know we were just like hanging out with them at the at the club you know they were talking to them they were really cool guys so we invited them to um to the hotel <laughs> we invited them to the hotel and then we were just like talking to them there you know and the club closed at 3 by the way 3 a.m so uh when we went to the hotel it was like almost four and we were just like hanging out with them you know talking to them getting to know them more um, and then my roommate didn't really feel comfortable, so she was like, you know, I'ma head out. She was like, I'ma let you guys stay here. I'ma head out. And I was just like, are you are you sure you want to drive all the way to Kentucky? And she was like, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable. And I was just like, I mean, I I'ma stay here. I pay for this room, so I'ma meet you up. I'ma meet you later. You know. Um, so she left. And then Petro and one of his friend ended up staying in the room. Like Petro obviously slept with my sister and then his friend, his irrelevant friend slept next to me. You know, it was just like a cool friend. So like when we fell asleep, I slept on one side of the bed. He slept on the other side of the bed, you know, like not touching, you know. And then his other friend who was super, super drunk slept in the car. I guess he also didn't feel comfortable with us. Um, so the next day, Petro had to go because he had work so they left so my sister and I ended up checking out early and then we went to the mall and we walked around a and you know just like shopped for a little bit and then we went to the car and at this point I was so hung over I was like girl I am not about to I'm not about to drive right now like first of all I'm hung over I'm tired it's hot and then we woke up and then she was like invite Petro to the apartment and I, I was like I mean why not whatever you're about to leave in a couple of days you want to see your boo for the night you can invite him over so she texted him he was still at work so we had to wait like hours for him at the parking lot of the mall we had to wait hours for him so and then he ended up coming to meet us and I guess he didn't drive at that time or he didn't have a car I don't know what's up with him but he came to my car and then I drove to Kentucky. So when I got to Kentucky, my sister, Yasmin, uh, Petro, and I, we went to the hookah lounge, we had a fun night, ate, whatever, came back home. So let me tell you about my apartment. It's a three bedroom apartment. Yasmin lives in the owner's, you know, owner's room, which, you know, a big room with a bathroom. And I lived in, like, I stayed in the middle, like, my room was in the middle. And then the other two roommates, it was, like, uh, our roommate and her boyfriend who stayed, you know, at the, like, front of the, like, the first room. So, um, my sister and Petra ended up going to my room to, like, you know, talk or whatever, hang out with each other. So I was just, like, talking to my roommates. And then when it came to bedtime, Yasuka looked at me, she was like, if you want to sleep in my room, you can sleep in my room. And I was like... I was like, okay, thank you. You know, so she went to her room, my roommates went to their room. So <laughs> I walked I walked into my room and I was just like So y'all sleeping on the floor and I'ma sleep on the bed. I had no shame whatsoever. <laughs> I literally said it's so embarrassing like i'm thinking about it and it's so embarrassing i could have slept in my roommate's room i literally could have slept in the living room but i said my butt is sleeping in my bed and you guys are sleeping on the floor they didn't even have a mattress nothing it was literally like blankets stacked like they're literally they stacked the blankets and they put it on the floor and then they had my laptop and they started watching moana and I was just like, all right, peace out. I'm not, you know, I was just like. <sighs> and then the next day I had to drive Petro to Nashville or whatever. And on the way, and I was like, so uh, how was your night? And my sister was like, you literally start snoring. 
<laughs> I don't think she was impressed at all. <laughs> She was like, you were snoring, and she was like, and you weren't snoring lightly, you were going at it, you were snoring, and I was just like, I mean, you already knew, you already knew I snore, so, <laughs> and she was like, that was so embarrassing, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? In my head, honestly, it was really funny. It might not be funny to you guys, but if you guys had any awkward third wheel date with, you know, your friends or family, just let me know. Like, share your story down in the comment. Or if you want to hear another story time, maybe a more serious. I think I have a lot of story times. I had really uh, rude roommates and just clingy roommates i think that would be a really good story time to do um let me know if you want to hear a different story time if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button i think it's either this side or this side i don't know but it's hopefully so please hit it but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you like this video bye